shift you tonight. He said, when you go back home with your church, he told me to come grab your head. He said, because when you go back, tell your husband that it's already done. Everything y'all been worried about, bills are being supernaturally paid. God said, watch me. I'm going to do it because y'all love him so much. Go back and praise him with your husband. Somebody open up your mouth and say it's already done. Hi, this is Prophetess Christina Glenn Weeks. I am at WYZE radio station with Prophetess Pastor Sandy Sneed Johnson. We just got through having a radio interview and we had an awesome time here today. She's going to share a little bit about the prophetic word that was released over her life and her husband at the prophetic encounter to remember on last year. She has just a few testimonies that I think you would want to hear. Well, first, let me say thank you so much, Prophetess, for uh, coming to the radio station. What an awesome broadcast we had today. And I just want to share for those that may be listening that in 2012, you prophesied a prophetic word at the prophetic encounter um, to remember concerning um, something that I was expecting God. And you didn't know it, but you said in three days that God was, you were Pacific, and you said within three days, God was going to open up a door. And he did just that. And it was something great that I was expect in expectation of. You didn't know it, but the Holy Spirit knew it. And he confirmed it. First of all, I went expecting to hear a word from God. And because I was in expectation and I believe God spoke through you and it happened within three days. And then you spoke about the ministry and you spoke about uh, at that time, my husband wasn't working. And when you were speaking, how God was getting ready to change some things, he got a job within that next week. God started opening the door. Everything that you prophesied, everything that you spoken to us, it came to pass. And we believe because, and I really do believe that you are truly a woman of God. And I just want I want to encourage those that may be listening to just believe, mm -hmm. expect whatever the word that God is sending you. The first thing you have to do is believe to be an expectation of what God is going to do. Now you have two other testimonies. Oh yes, One, my friend. Your friend and that financial yes. testimony that came through was something supernatural. You all were praying financially mm -hmm. and something mm -hmm. came in too. I know you. Yes. Just, um, my friend in Spartanburg, I had sent her a text and an email and told her that she was going to be in Spartanburg. And I told her she had to get there. So she went not knowing anybody there. And you called her out. And you said it was something of concern in school that she was about to go back to school and that God was going to open up those finances. And what God did that, she, when she left that service that night, she went to her computer and there was the financial aid information for her. If, out, the school was paid for Wow. It was paid for. Everything that you prophesied. You didn't even fact about she didn't know nobody there, but she was just going on my word and she went out she came to the service and you spoke a prophetic word and you called her out and you told her that it was something concerning school that God was gonna pay for. And God did and it. God did it. Wow. And then not only that, I sent an email in to Atmosphere Altar mm -hmm. and, and talking about how um I had a situation where I needed a, a bond, I thought. Mm -hmm. But when I sent the information into you, you prayed over it and God shifted. He changed it. I didn't even need the bond. He did it. He opened the door another way. So when you believe, no matter what it is, God will change it if you just believe. Well, thank you so much, Pastor. Thank you so we much. We appreciate you sharing. And that's why the Bible says they overcame by the other's testimonies. See, when we in here documented testimonies of how that's others right. are being blessed in the atmosphere of miracles, it should charge your faith That's to know it. God can still do the unexpected. We'll always remember, it's already done. It's already God bless you. Hi everyone, this is Prophetess Christina Glenn Weeks, and I am excited to be able to personally invite you to tonight's Prophetic Encounter to Remember live online. Many people around the world have been waiting to experience this encounter. Well, guess what you can do in preparation for tonight's powerful event? You can get on social media and start sharing with your family and friends on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and let them know that tonight's theme is anointed to succeed. If you are anointed to succeed in your family, life, your finances, your business, ministry, and so much more, but you feel as though you just need that extra push to take you to the next level. Well, tonight is your night to be in the atmosphere of miracles. I can feel a prophetic, a divine shift and release that is gonna take place on your behalf on tonight. 
well, you still have time to send in your prayer request so that I can pray over each of those tonight. And also remember, when you share with your family and friends, you're inviting them to corporately experience the miracles that God has for you on tonight. Well, at the end of this video, there's going to be a flyer that comes up and if you click it, it'll take you to the live event that's happening tonight at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Well, I'm excited about you taking place and about your miracle tonight. God bless you. Join host Prophetess Christina Glenn Weeks for 2014 Prophetic Encounter to Remember. Watch it live online Sunday, August 17, 2014, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Send Prophetess your prayer request and then share it with family and friends via Facebook and Twitter about this exciting night and experience the atmosphere of miracles. For more information, visit ChristinaGlennWeeks.com.